Shirtless man sits shivering in the middle of Ulaanbaatar, exposed to temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees. People crowd around, offering their jackets to protect him from the cold. About 40 feet away, the statue of Chinggis Khan overlooks the scene unfolding in Sukhwater Square. December 27, 2018, thousands of demonstrators gathered to protest the actions of prominent political figures. Parliamentary Speaker Ingeborg Mierkamp had allegedly sold off government positions for an estimated $23 million. I'm here to get rid of Ingeborg and help our people. I also want all these corrupt politicians fired and get honest people elected. Our country is in bad shape. My country is calling me. My people are calling me. I don't care if it's cold. Mongolia is fairly new to democracy, with its first constitution passed in 1992 after decades of communist rule. Since then, however, Mongolia has constantly had to deal with political instability. The country has been through 15 cabinets, each lasting an average of two years. Recently, major problems such as air pollution and health issues have plagued Mongolians. Many believe they stem from corruption in their government. Several politicians have been accused of plundering the country's resources, which were meant to solve public problems. It is obvious what this is doing to the country. Mining all over, selling land to the foreigners, smuggling animals. I don't know what is next. I want this country's future to be bright, where everyone is healthy and I want this land to be whole again.